Greetings, my name is Brian Guthrie. Today, I'll be discussing the Quaker denomination of the Christian faith, with a specific focus on their role in American history. Originating in 17th century England, the Religious Society of Friends, later called Quakers, began as a proto-evangelical Christian movement near Lancashire. The term Quaker originated with their practice of trembling in the way of the Lord. Throughout the 17th century, they faced strong opposition and persecution. The Quakers migrated to North America beginning in the 1650s, settling in New England. They converted many colonists to the face. Initially, they found refuge in the Providence plantations. Those that settled in Massachusetts, however, faced persecution from the Puritans. Most Quakers were banished from the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Few were also whipped or branded. Some of the leaders were executed by the Puritan leaders. Mary Dyer is an example. In 1657, Quakers from England landed in New Amsterdam. During the latter half of the 17th century, Quakers began spreading out to other parts of the New World, in particular Pennsylvania. Founded by William Penn, he tried to make a holy experiment unifying the temporal and spiritual lives of the citizens. Because the new colony made guarantees of religious freedom, many other faiths were attracted to it. While Quakers took political control of the colony, there were bitter fights on how they should spend the colony's money, in particular in military operations or defenses. These conflicts eventually led the Quakers to giving up all of their power. The Quakers began another experiment. This experiment, while remaining apart from the government, centered on volunteer work inside the community. This included civic activism, building schools, hospitals, and asylums for the poor and needy, all the while relying on a new tone born from the feeling of crisis that admonished people in their moral views. A lot of this philanthropy was made possible by the wealth given to the Quakers by Quaker merchants based in Philadelphia. As the Quakers spread through the New World, they spawned a variety of branches, each with common beliefs that included the experience of the light within and seeing God in everyone. The majority of Quakers avoided creed and abhorred hierarchy, with most adhering to a priesthood of believers concept as preached by Peter. Throughout their history, they have refused to fight in wars, insisted on plain clothing, opposed slavery, and followed the concepts of teetotalism. They were among the earliest of the Protestant faiths to ordain women as ministers, believing that Christ insisted on teaching himself to all people through all people. Some of these positions contributed to the worst of their persecution in both England and North America. As the 18th century dawned, Quakers, like other religious groups, began to migrate to the frontier. They spread west and south, taking up residence in Virginia, Maryland, later the Carolinas and Georgia, and eventually into what was the Northwest Territory, currently the Midwest. An increase of interest in social issues and concerns grew to match their success in manufacturing and commerce while they migrated into new territories. Many positions that the Quakers took became dominant political issues in the new nation that was born in the latter half of the 18th century. During the War of the American Revolution, Quakers' commitment to pacifism brought them under more persecution. Despite their stance, many Quakers were involved in the American Revolution in other unique ways. The Quakers' contribution to the new country was recognized when the United States Constitution was written. A particular example is in the explicit allowance of affirming as opposed to swearing oaths to the nation. As the 19th century dawned, their opposition to slavery, their stance on the treatment of the mentally ill, along with other social issues, began to place them in conflict with not just society, but with each other. Theological schisms within the movement led to the creation of offshoots of the Friends spreading into the other colonies, later states. Their involvement in great reform movements continued throughout the 19th century. Believing that American Indians deserved a just policy toward them, they played a role in President Ulysses S. Grant's peace policy towards the Native Americans. With their motivation towards high ideals, the downplay of the need to convert to Christianity, they worked well side by side with the Native Americans. As a result of this, many Quakers served as appointed agents in reservations and other superintendent positions in departments that dealt with the Native Americans of the West. 